Here we are, summer's evening. Go for a little walk in Wales. Up onto the trees up there in the distance. So it should be nice. When I was a kid, this used to be a thriving farm, but uh, they've gone over to skips and not much else now, so this is all we've done. Quite an impressive sky tonight with the sort of clouds and after the rain. Pretty about the traffic noise, but you can't have everything, I suppose. And as is summer, there are wild strawberries to eat off the hedgerows. Not very really big, but um, very pleasant. The goose grass is starting to seed as well. It's the old itchy grass sticks to you. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can see that. Sticking under your skin, got a little hooks on it. But, uh, yeah. Pleasant walk. <laughs> nice things to see in the hedgerow. The honeysuckle is coming to the end now. You can still smell it, but um, the flowers are starting to go a bit now. But uh, never mind, and the hedge parsley in the background there. Looking nice. Some of the um, Honeysuckle is still just clinging on. It's a garden escapee, it's a snowberry. Not any uh, not any berries on there at the moment, but um, there's a flower there with a little soldier beetle as well. I don't know if I can focus in on that. Not quite. More strawberries. Mmm, mm, nice too. Mm. Plenty here too, look, hiding under the, the brambles. Hmm. Right, this is the Rumney Valley Ridgeway Walk, according to the signs. And they've just cut the field for hay. And, uh, there's the uh, sled that's been used for the bales, left at the side. So the path snakes off into the distance, up to the gate. That's where we come from. And there's the uh, sun casting a long shadow. And there's the gate. And the sunset is uh, well, pretty impressive in the evening. The wind's battered down the uh, grass here, it really hasn't been cut, the wind and the rain. But still quite a little pleasant little field, not very big. Nice little path along here. And the uh, foxgloves are out in flower. house being built here. Good stone built Welsh design. And quite a good view into the sunset. So just going along this bit here we've got ash trees, oak trees, I think those are alder, holly, Hazelnut, Hawthorn, another ash, another ash. Oh, someone's coming. That's a willow. Nice f 
farm scene. Are there any sheep in the field? They were a few weeks ago, but not now by the looks. Nope. We left to grow up for some hay. There's a pigeon going into the field there. And then we've got really old trees forming part of the old hedge. Look at that uh, oak. Must be in there ages and ages and ages. <laughs> and laid once to form part of the hedge. And there's some holly. Oh, there they go, the pigeons. You can't see them. Three of four of them. And more holly in uh, weird shapes, and that's a beech. The, uh, you can see where it was laid for a hedge. Oh. Quite a pleasant stroll with the light coming through the sun. Hmm. Feet are getting nice and wet. <laughs> but nice and green anyway. And the nettles at the base of the tree. And onward round the corner. The conifer plantation, it's only a little one, but this looks very dull in comparison, doesn't it? Just the one species and everything dead underneath. The whole home and the stream, Terry Summer, is dried up. In the winter, there's normally uh, quite a bit of water going down there. Well, there's a little bit in this one, just trickling along. This field's got a bit too much rye grass in it, but it is a working farm, I suppose. And uh, then we got the dead tree, which has been up here dead like this a good few years, and it still hasn't fallen down. <laughs> so no doubt one tiny way when I come past here, it'll be lying on the ground, gone. But it um, still looks fairly robust. Yeah, bark's gone and it's starting to rot at the bottom, but... And there's a bit of fungus coming through it. <laughs> Branches are starting to fall off. <laughs> oh well, onward. That mountain ash looks as though it's struggling this year. Hardly any leaves on it. But, uh, there we are. They had uh, turnips or mangoes in this field last year to feed the sheep. So I don't know what they've planted this year, it seems to be mostly weeds. <laughs> it's grown up quickly though. And now the sunset looks lovely. Huh? Sun going down, I should say it's not sunset yet. Look at that. Looking up towards Merthyr Tidville. And we're on to the next farm, which is a working one this time. Here's a small horse chestnut tree, and uh, you can see the, uh, the conkers starting to appear, so that's a sign that uh, the year is marching on. And another sign of autumn coming along, the hazelnuts are forming in the hedge, look there. We've got a stand of uh, oaks here, and beech. Looks like we disturbed a buzzard and off he goes into the air currents. There's a lovely golden glow now in the sunset. Oh, that's pretty impressive. That's what Wales is like on a July 